You know when someone really tries it, and then you sit there and you realize, I'm not that one? I had one of those moments the other day when I found out that a company that I worked with really just tried it. They just tried it. So, let me just settle down for a second. Um, let's get into the story time. I never do story times on my channel because I hardly have any stories to tell, but I felt like this one was actually worthy of telling because it kind of has a message to it. So it's no secret that once YouTubers start to grow following, they start to build up their subscriber count, that brands and companies start to reach out to them more to either want to work with them, to collaborate with them in some way, or for them to become a brand ambassador or to just send them products so that they can review in exchange for a complimentary item. I've been doing YouTube for like three years now and for the past two years I've received emails like this, sometimes from really, really random sites. I get a lot of them from random stores on Amazon. Like one time I got asked um, if I wanted to try out um, a beard trimmer. I didn't know whether to be offended or if they like maybe just wanted me to try it on someone else. I have no idea what they were aiming for with that, but um, yeah, I get approached by very weird stores sometimes. Which brings me to this company that reached out to me. I wanna say a few times before I actually started replying to them. I'm not gonna say the name because, I don't know, I just feel weird like saying the name and outing them. I feel like there's nothing that could happen to me if I like reveal the name, expose them. But just to play it safe, um, I'm not gonna say their name, but I will tell you that it is a store on Amazon. So if you happen to find the link, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> okay, you didn't hear it from me. This particular store sells shoes. And I remember them sending me emails before with pictures and links to shoes on their site that were really, really, Bad. They were really ugly and I didn't want to ask them to send me shoes if I wasn't going to actually wear them, if I didn't want to leave a positive review. Plus, why would I want ugly shoes? So then they emailed me again on August 26, 2019, which explains why the message is so like brief because I'm pretty sure they had introduced themselves in the prior message. But they said, hello friend, this is Jerry from brand. Now we have new items. Are you interested in it? Waiting for your messages. Attached, they sent me a bunch of links here to different shoes in different colors. So I clicked on the links and I actually liked the shoes. Um, should I show you them? Okay, look. <laughs> so I'm not going to show you them, but I have shoes that actually look exactly like them in a different color. So these are from Target. But these, this shoe right here looks exactly like the shoe that they sent me. So keep that in mind if you want to go investigating. I don't know. So when I saw shoes in that style in the color white, I got really excited because I wanted those shoes in white. Maybe it'll turn out good. Maybe it'll be good quality, which they actually are good quality shoes. Basically from there, I told them, hey, like, thank you so much for reaching out. I'm actually interested in the color white. They are very pretty. And then they responded with the standard, like, okay, we'll send it to you free of charge. All you have to do is basically A, B, and C. Their requests were, when I receive the goods, please take some HD photos, which we can use it on Amazon. Photos request. Number one, HD original picture, no filter, no Photoshop. Keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. Number two, shooting scenes need to be clean, not messy. Light is good. Try to outdoor scenes. Number three, clothing is based on casual wear. Number four, shoes are centered, highlighting shoes, half-length photos, the overall body matching photos also need. That one was really confusing, but I, I get it. I get it. So basically after that, I just sent them my shipping address and that was it. I obviously didn't pay any money for it because they were kind of working with me for these photos. So a couple weeks later, I got the shoes in the mail and I actually really, really like them. They're super cute and comfy. You know what? I'm sorry. I just realized you're going to see the shoes in the photo. So you know what? Let me just, these are the shoes. Okay. I'm blocking the soles 
of the shoe because then you're going to see the name. But these are the shoes. They look really cute. They're actually super comfortable. And I've gotten so many compliments on these shoes. But that's besides the point, okay? So I took the photos as they requested. No filter, no Photoshop, no nothing. And um, I sent it to them. And I said, hello, I have received the shoes and I'm very happy with how they feel and look. Thank you so much for sending them. I'll attach photos I took earlier today. And I sent them not one, not two, not three, but four photos. And after that, I actually hadn't heard anything from them. They never said thank you for the photos. They never said like, can you give me a different photo? Can you take it in this angle? Can you do this? Blah, blah, blah. Nothing. Silence. It's like they cut me off. They ghosted me, which I was fine with because I got my shoes and I was chilling. It wasn't until a couple days ago when I went on the website because I wanted to see if they actually used my photos. So I was curious. I'm like, okay, let me just see for myself to see if they actually use my pics. <laughs> I'm scrolling through the photos, you know, super cute girls. They have like a bunch of other girls in different um, colored shoes. I see my picture from the little thumbnail from afar. I'm like, oh my God, that's my picture. I click on it. Oh my God, that is not my picture. <laughs> that is not my picture. Not only did they Photoshop me skinnier, bitch, they fucking stretched me out. Like they wanted me to be this fucking like six foot fucking size zero model who is modeling shoes. Like the audacity, the audacity. I don't understand why they did this to my photo when one I'm modeling shoes I am not fucking modeling clothes because I understand that I'm not like the standard size for a, like a runway model a fashion model but I'm modeling shoes the main purpose of the photo is the shoes not my body so I have a problem with it not only because it's insulting but because like that's I, I'm modeling shoes and they fucking photoshopped me. So that makes me really upset. First of all, who the fuck are you? You know what? I'm about to drop names. <laughs> who is this little ass, teeny tiny ass fucking Amazon store that thinks that they can tell me how I'm supposed to look by photoshopping my photo? <sighs> this is how I look. This is my body. And I'm not ashamed of it. I... I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Don't let them see you fucking cry, you a bad bitch. My weight has been something that I've struggled with all my life. I've always been like fluctuating weight. So it's always been an insecurity. And it's taken me a long time to love myself and realize that a number on a scale doesn't define who you are. So yes, of course I'm upset at this because I know that so many people struggle with this. Speaking as a woman, I know that so many other women and young girls deal with this. They see what the standard of beauty is whenever they turn on the TV, whenever they look at a magazine. That is what they are supposed to look like. I know that things are changing, but clearly these things still happen. And if anything, I wanna use this as a lesson to other brands who might be watching this, don't do this. If you didn't like my body, you should have never asked me to send you photos. You should have never emailed me. I was not the right candidate for you. The perfect candidate doesn't come in a specific size. So before I get too carried away, let's just take a look at what the fuck they changed about me. If you're gonna Photoshop me, do it right. Bitch, I look disproportionate. They made my arms skinnier, which, Thank you, I try to do that on a daily basis. <laughs> they made me longer. What else did they fucking do? Let me pull up the original photo real quick. They made my boobs smaller. They made my torso longer. And I think that's it. But still, that is not me. That is not my body. And I'm not okay with that. I'm definitely gonna email them. I was gonna do this on camera, but I feel like I need to personally reach out. I'm not trying to like be unprofessional. And I know that if I'm on camera, like, I know that you guys aren't even here, but, like, you're here, okay? You're here in camera form, and so, like, I'm gonna see you, and so I'm gonna be, like, you're, you guys are gonna be hyping me up. I'm gonna be, like, fuck you, fuck your brand, fuck everything, you know? So, like, I, I can't. So I'm gonna do that on my own, but I feel like this is a huge lesson that everyone can take from this. Brands, you guys, me. And just remember, say it with me, kids, I am not that one. <laughs> Seriously. Don't 
don't come for me. I feel like this video speaks for itself, so I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.